Modern Desk Designs. It is another home decor series video. Obviously, I don't know what I'm doing, right? Um, so we are gonna do not the whole living room because I don't quite think I have what I want like for the couch and stuff, but we're going to focus on like some of my shelving, my hall tree, my coffee table, things like that. I'm gonna show you just like some light cleaning. I mean, not that like I do anything fancy or anything, but yeah, so let's go ahead and get into it. And remember, if you're enjoying this video, so if you're digging me, if you're digging the home series, <laughs> then make sure you like, make sure you subscribe and let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so we're gonna start in the living room. Now, we're not gonna do much in the living room, um, but I do want to show you what I do to the table and all that good jazz. So I'm gonna start by, I take everything off of the table, not that there was anything on there anyways. I'm gonna go ahead and start cleaning the table. I do have a video on how I made this table. Of course, I will link it down in the description box. And um, also I tell you where I find everything later in the walkthrough. So in this next clip, you're gonna be like, girl, why are you putting your vacuum on the couch? And I will tell you, this Dirt Devil is seriously the best vacuum I've ever gotten. I got it from Walmart and uh, it picks up the dog hair so well and the handle part on it does work very good. But putting the whole vacuum on here works way better. So I'm not telling you to do it to your couch. Just, I mean, you know, do it at your own risk is what I'm saying, but it's never damaged our couch. It works better. It's faster. So that's what, <laughs> that's what I do. Yeah. I definitely shouldn't have a cleaning channel. I'll show you all the wrong ways to use your supplies. All right. So next I'm just going to get this cozy. I haven't found pillowcases that I wanted to use, so I might make my own. All right, so starting with the centerpiece, I knew when starting my makeover for my living room that it was gonna be based off of the crockery pumpkins that I made, the wood pumpkins and the fabric pumpkins. So I started with an idea and then I'm gonna build around it. So knowing that this was my main idea, I start with this piece. I use my books, you guys know very often, these are great for risers to get height, to add different colors to your space. So don't ever pass those books up in the thrift store because you can use them for so much in your decor. The twine pumpkin I also made, I thought it looked great and rustic, the copper pumpkin. Oh, it's not even a pumpkin. The copper potpourri pot, I thought one looked like a pumpkin and I just think it just added that little bit that it needed over here. So we are done with the table. Now we're gonna move on to, I, I really love this part of our house. So we're gonna take everything out. That's what I always do. Blank slate all the time, take everything down. I'm gonna go ahead and clean everything up and then I'm gonna start building. So I'm gonna use this salvaged piece. I got this from my dad and I am adding more height. This is taller than the window. I like that it was a different shape than the window. And now I'll be adding some eucalyptus wreaths, which I love the color. So everything, oh, and, and there's Everly showing me her thing. And these bookends I upcycled. You Seriously, books are everywhere in my decor. And then I will add some pumpkins, a little bit of height on the right side with this silver platter. And my thing is, you guys, I have so much clutter in my life down in the basement where I work that when I decorate the, my home, I want it more simple. It, it seems more fresh to me and clean. So I don't, I don't like to overdo it with my decor. So as you can see here, I got this picture and I'm adding that pop of like, stark bright white. I think it needed it because everything was very kind of dull and matte in color and this bright white was just what it needed and you'll see me pull that bright right white throughout. So now we're coming over to my hall tree, tree hall, hall tree. Again, taking everything off of it, starting with that blank slate that we needed. I clean it. I just use old towels and I forget what this is, pledge I think it is. So I always start with my biggest piece. I knew I use this every fall, so I knew I wanted to start with my thankful sign I made, and then I start building it up. I start with height, 
I bring that eucalyptus back down. So as you can see, everything starting from the table around to the window, I bring all of the same elements in to each section. So you can see I have that crockery burlap pumpkin there. We got our eucalyptus leaves and we have um, the stark white, which you'll see I'll put this sign back in here. There we go. It's the pop we need. And now going over here, this section is always hard because the height varies in between the shelving. So the like this basket, for example, I feel like it matched the raffia on the pumpkins on the table. I'll also be using a basket in another section of the house as well. So these are all my DIY projects right here. That same green is being filtered throughout the living room and tying everything in. Now I'm just gonna fill those with some little baby's breast so it matches the house that it's next to and we will continue to build. Now for these, I just make sure that I'm kind of bringing height in. So you can see the basket has some height, then I go lower in height, then I go higher in height with this home sign. And that's what I like to do. I, I like to change up the heights throughout. And let me tell you guys how much I cut out of these videos because I go back and forth with my decor and that's what it's about it's about playing with it it's about trying and bringing other elements into to your decor it takes time but after we're done with that we're going to head over to the sofa table and again we're going to clear this out now whenever i take my decor off from the previous season or whatever i leave it all out i don't put anything away yet not until the very end because I might want to pull those elements, those decor pieces back into my seasonal decor. So keep everything out. That's what I suggest and bring everything out that you want to use. So like right here, I'm repurposing my toolbox that I made with Dollar Tree signs and I replaced the lavender with some lamb's ear and burlap daisies. Next, I'm going to show you guys, of course, my candlestick finds from thrift store. They were the perfect color. They were wooden. I loved them. So we're going to place those down there. Then going on the top again, getting that eucalyptus. I really didn't know what to do with the top of this table. And then I will get that bright white lace pumpkin and voila some books. And let me go ahead and walk you through and show you how this all turned out. Hey everyone, we have the final look. So let's go ahead and do the walkthrough. I'll tell you where I got stuff or if I have a video where I made stuff, but I love this. John and I built the actual shelf out of old wood. And then these core walls are actually from Dollar General. They were two for $7.50. And look at how pretty. I love it. I was really going this whole vibe simplistic. Like I don't want to overcrowd anything. I just wanted it to be like kind of vintagey, old. This, what would you call this? I don't know. It's a frame, a trellis. I don't know. That I picked up from my dad. My dad gave it to me. He likes to find stuff like this as well to put in his garden. So I got that from California. The window, I actually got that one. Sorry, trying to move a little slower. And then this beautiful like seafoam green one for $10 on Facebook Marketplace. And then these, you guys, that you kind of saw me um, using throughout, these were used at a wedding and then they were selling them for 25 cents each at a garage sale. So I, of course, <laughs> I grabbed all of them. I mean, why wouldn't I? And then we have our bookends, which were um, a garage sale, and I painted those. I do have a video for that, so I'll link that. And then we have a thrifted silver platter, or actually that was a garage sale. I recently made those crockery uh, pumpkins with the spindles. So, and of course you guys know I have books in all of my decor. So let me know what you think about this. And then we're gonna go ahead and move on to the home tree. All right, so here's the hall tree. I still don't know if I want, I feel like something like longer, maybe like another like basket. I don't know, give me your ideas down below. But of course I was trying to keep with 
the like crockery stamps. That's what inspired me here. So that's what I was basing my decor around. And I know I'm gonna get asked, this haul tree is from Wayfair, but I do not, um, I do not recommend purchasing from them. I made this sign myself. I don't have a video for that. More books, Dollar Tree pumpkins. I will link the video for all of the crockery stamp projects more of our garage cell eucalyptus wreaths. I do have a video for the sign, the tray, the pot, the pumpkin. So a lot of the things you guys, just like I said in my own old, like my other video, it doesn't have to be brand new. It doesn't have to be from home goods or a decor store. You can make a lot of it. You can thrift a lot of this stuff. I know this is from a garage, so I've had that since we moved to Kansas. Again, garage sale, Dollar Tree pick. These are DIYs that I've done. I mean, the coasters, the house, the tray, the planter, all of it is DIYs and then Dollar Tree pumpkins. Down here, that is Dollar Tree pumpkins. We have our home sign. I did make that. I do have a video as well. And then these like candle sticks. I actually got those at Hobby Lobby like years ago and then spray painted them white. And down here, this is like the oddball, the like remnants of, I don't know what to do. <laughs> so we have our crockery, a little wooden pumpkin, our copper and some books. So I really like how this turned out. I love that it's simplistic. I like that it's open. I mean, I guess it's not simplistic, but I like that it's open and airy and it's light and I love all of this like green that's in here and whites and browns, it's gorgeous. I need to change my, my wood round for sure. Look how beautiful my light is. Okay, so let's go ahead and go to the table behind me. Okay, the table behind me is, it's pretty plain. I am going to paint I think some larger candlesticks that I thrifted with Brie and I'm gonna paint them like this green color, maybe farmhouse DIY paint, not sure yet. But I got this basket free. A local um, woman gave me a bunch of baskets for free. And then I made this last year. We got the eucalyptus. Of course, when I don't know what to do with something, I'm like, books, books, why not books? We added our Dollar Tree velvet pumpkins. This I pulled in from over in the other section. Hold on. Over here. And these florals are actually from Walmart last year. I'm trying to go slow so I don't make y'all sick. So very simplistic. I'll like I said, I'll probably add more over here. And then down below, we have this tool, I guess we'll call it a toolbox. I did make that from Dollar Tree Signs. I'll link that down below. We have our florals tying in, you know, more of like the neutral colors. You can see the books are neutral. And then we tie in like the green, the yellows with the candlestick. So I'm just always trying to kind of keep it cohesive and bring it across the board and again all of this stuff you guys i handmade those were thrifted 50 percent off that was thrifted 50 percent off handmade dollar tree walmart and thrifted so and then this table we got at wayfair as well i don't know i bought that at a garage sale you guys and it's literally stayed there since we moved in i, I don't know what to do with it and then i need to get a more neutral fall blanket or blankets to put in this beautiful basket that I got at Goodwill for $3.99. I moved our sign that we got from Dollar General and then we got that green again. This green like carries throughout and I love it. And our last stop you guys is gonna be the coffee table. Okay, so here is the coffee table. It's super simplistic, super simplistic. This you guys got off Facebook Marketplace. I did paint this and I do have the video on it. This tray I found at the Lewisburg um, Antique, not Antique Market. Yeah, no, 
I have a booth there. Why don't I know what it's called? Anyways, it was only $19. Can you believe that? Look at these big old iron hands. That's gorgeous. And then I made the, um, the jute twine pumpkin. I have the video on those beautiful crockery pumpkins. I got the, uh, what do you call that? Copper from Savers made our riser and then of course my thrifted books now at first i really wanted to tie in orange somewhere which i feel like that needs to be pulled but i think i might change it i thought i was going to uh, pull in other orange elements from other places but it ended up looking really weird and next you guys that's it i mean this is so hard to decorate because look at Look at how high these ceilings are. So we haven't really figured out what to do with this space and then the weird dang vents everywhere. And it's not even like they're centered or I don't know. And then over here we have this, which is weird because it's propped up against the window. So you can't really like lean anything against it. I'm sure I'll figure out something to stuff there. And I need to get new pillowcases new pillowcases and then this you guys is actually threshold um, from Target and I found it at a thrift store for $4.99 so yeah. all right y'all thank you so much for joining me on another little home series I know this isn't everybody's vibe but I'm not everybody's vibe so hey there's that but I hope I'm just doing this to kind of give you guys ideas of what you can do and that like you don't have to have a lot of money to have a nice home you don't have to go out to you know these expensive stores and spend a lot of money if you just dig around at your local thrift stores your garage sales things like that you would be blown away by what you can find and how you can fit it into your home decor so like like i've said the little things like the platter you know like it just added that vintage touch that I needed. It added the height that I needed and so much. The garage, so eucalyptus wreaths. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just really wanted to inspire you guys and show you that you don't have to have a big budget to have a nice home or have nice home decor. And for those of you that aren't like traditional fall, it doesn't have to be orange and like my bedroom. <laughs> basically. So I hope you enjoy this. Thank you guys for being here with me. Um, I will see you on Saturday for another crime and crafting. If you guys enjoyed that, thank you so much. And we will be back next Thursday. It's either going to be the kids bathroom or the kitchen. So thank you guys. Have a good week. Bye.